this is my channel. So I just wanted to discuss a few different pieces of news with you guys today. The first one being that Steam for Linux is going into beta. There will be an internal beta for it this week I believe, and the external beta that begins in October. This means that 1000 Linux users are going to be given access to the, the external beta and given one Steam game to play. It hasn't been determined what game it's going to be. It's rude we left for Dead 2, but nothing's been confirmed yet, so if you are a Linux user and you are looking forward to playing on Steam, definitely keep an eye out for that and see if you're able to get into that external beta. The beta is going to include access to Steam for Linux, one Valve game, and support for Ubuntu version 12.04 and above. I don't know what that means, not being a Linux user, but if you do, there you go. Like I said, I'm not a Linux user, it's just not really my thing. But if any of you guys are, definitely you know, keep an eye out, see if you're able to get into that beta, see if you can have a play around with Steam for Linux, because I'm always happy to have more gamers with Steam available to them because it's such an amazing piece of software. Next up, I just wanted to discuss a few pieces of news about the Wii U. The first one being the upsetting but predictable news that it will be region locked. I was expecting this, seeing as the 3DS is and the Wii is. The DS is not, but you know what? I was expecting this for the Wii U and it sucks because, you know, there are some really great games that are released outside of your region and you just, you can't play them. Not to mention price, I mean in Australia games are really expensive. I think for Wii U games we're looking at $110, $120 each which is just ridiculous considering our Wii games are already $99 and even that's pretty steep. So it, it sucks to know that we're not going to be able to import games from you know, NTSC regions like North America, for instance. But it was predictable, like I said, because they've been doing this for a while, Nintendo, and as disappointing as it is, I'm still really looking forward to the Wii U, but it has just kind of knocked my excitement down a peg. Finally, while we're already talking about the Wii U, Nintendo have announced the games that are going to be released on the launch date for the Wii U in North America. There's some pretty decent games there. There's also some normal launch day kind of filler titles to go through, which I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy, but in terms of what I'm looking forward to, there's a, a big amount, then there's like a smaller amount in there, the games that I really want to play. Those games, however, include some really good ones, like New Super Mario Bros. U, which I kind of saw happening as a launch day title. Uh, it's also Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Darksiders 2. There's a lot of games that have already been released being ported to Wii U, but you know, some of these games I haven't played yet, and I'm looking forward to playing them on the Wii U. It'll be nice to have a decent library for the Wii U when it's released compared to the 3DS's launch, which was just awful. There's a few others like Zombie U, which we were looking forward to at E3. We looked at a lot of that, so that's another big one that's going to be pretty exciting on launch date, and I think I'll get that one as well. We've also got FIFA 13, which came out today. Black Ops 2, which is launching soon, I'm pretty sure. I haven't really been paying attention. Scribblenauts Unlimited, Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. So there's some pretty decent games to look forward to on launch date. However, like I said, a lot of them have already been released. And I'm guessing big gamers will have already played a lot of these. But, you know, being a big enough fan, some people might get it again for the Wii U. Others may not have played. And, you know, having that game available for the Wii U on launch date might be a really cool thing for them. So... You know, I'll link to the full list in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. There's some really great games there and some not so great like I said, but you know, definitely have a look and see if there's anything you're really looking forward to. Nintendo have also announced a list of games that will be released in the launch window following the launch of the Wii U, which is between November 18th, the launch date, and March next year. There's a fairly big list of games there as well. The only ones I'm really looking forward to are Mass Effect 3, which yes, I have already played, but I will definitely play again on the Wii U and Pikmin 3, which again we saw a lot of at E3, which looks pretty good and definitely a good addition for any Pikmin fans since it's been a while since we had another Pikmin game. But anyway, that's pretty much all that I have to talk about today, so hopefully you guys enjoyed my video. Please leave a comment if there's anything you wish to discuss or let me know of or comment on this video. As for now, Castle Crashes came out on Steam today, so I already bought that, bought a four pack for me and my friends. Gonna go play that and might record some of it and post it up here. Might not, haven't decided yet. Anyway, I'll see you guys again soon for another video. Don't forget, if you haven't entered the Borderlands 2 giveaway key for my last video, I think it was, one before that, can't remember, video recently for Borderlands 2 giveaway, I'll put a link up to it here. That ends, it's Friday, I might give it till Saturday here because it's Friday in America then it's all too confusing for me, but I'll give it a couple more days so you still have time to enter is what I'm saying, but I'll see you guys again soon for another video. Bye bye!